Hey guys, Jay House right here. You won't see a lot of me today. We're going to talk about cedar fence, cedar rails, uh, post masters, and boxing out round post. So I just want to let you know real quick, I'm safe. The eclipse is happening. I've got a shade tree. I've got an umbrella and I also have sunglasses. So all is good here in North Richland Hills, Texas. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about cedar and talk about fence. This fence was built by uh, a large company here in the Metroplex. Good, good family company, good people. Um, they've been around a long time. And this was actually put in my house a year before I actually moved in. So I want to talk about some things I like, some things I don't like. So the stain is a, is a decent stain. It, it looks like a, 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 a dark stain, which is good. It's going to last longer. But number one grade cedar, which is good. Doesn't have many knots in it. It's a good looking picket. Uh, true six inches wide uh, board on board which gives you the complete privacy you can't see through um, but the only thing I don't like is the rails so this is a two by four smooth rail uh, what they call S4S which is smooth on all four sides it is a cedar rail but the problem with it is it, it doesn't have the porosity of the cedar picket so the stain sits on top it actually fades a lot quicker than this picket and so you'll have a different shade of brown on the rail versus the picket. I actually like to do, uh, and you can see here that it's actually faded and starting to chip off. Uh, and I think this is probably because of a sprinkler, but the whole fence, even in different areas, is the rails are lighter. And that's because it's just, it doesn't have the same porosity as this wood picket and it fades off with the UV rays and just rain and whatever else. So the difference that I do is I do the larger uh, rough cut cedar rails. They're actually a little bit bigger. You can see than these rails. And they have the same wood grain that the picket does. So when these get stained, this one wasn't stained. But when these get stained, they actually match the picket better. And they don't fade uh, like the harder surface uh, S4S rails do. So that's a little bit about rails. The other thing I want to talk about is Postmasters. These are... Uh, a product made by my supplier Master Halco. They come with a 15 year limited warranty and the good thing about them is they have a higher wind rating than round post and you can uh, the way that they're shaped uh, they also can take one picket to cover the picket I mean the post so next to it you can see that the company which I can do as well let me move this post but this is a round post hidden by three wood wood pickets and I can do this too and it doesn't look bad and it's just kind of the traditional way but the problem is and this one's not a big deal but usually uh, when you have grass here and people mow they hit them and so they come loose uh, and they don't last as long as just one picket would do so you'll take a one by four a one by six and another one by four uh, I actually did these myself um, and I screwed them because I didn't want to see the round post. But when you do a new fence, you can actually do a postmaster. And the way it works is the rails will come in here at any spot. You can line them up and you screw them in here. And then when the posts are up and the rails are up, you basically take one picket like that. And then you nail to the outside of that picket on the outside of the post to the rail. And so it covers that post. So everywhere you have a post, you'll have a picket. So it just has a really nice, clean look versus uh, the big boxy uh, box outs you do with round post. So that's just a little bit about Postmasters, box outs, and cedar rails. So I appreciate you watching, and if I can help, always shoot me an email at info at or uh, go to my website as well, housewrightgroup.com. Thank you, and have a great day, guys. Appreciate it.